Beneath the waters of the Hudson River, a monumental engineering feat is unfolding, and it is perhaps a testament to human ingenuity itself. It's called the Hudson Tunnel Project. And the biggest question is, why is no one talking about this? This transformative infrastructure undertaking is not merely a construction project, it's an investment in the region's economic future, a catalyst for environmental sustainability, and a beacon of innovation for generations to come. And speaking of investment, wait until you hear how much this project will cost. The existing Amtrak tunnels have served as a vital artifact of commerce and transportation for over a century. The NEC stands for Northeast Corridor and it's America's biggest passenger rail line. See, these existing tunnels under the Hudson are a single point of failure for the entire NEC. These aging tunnels, plagued by frequent disruptions and limited capacity, are struggling to keep pace with the demands of a rapidly growing population and strong economy. If even one of the two existing tunnels were to shut down, it's estimated that the US would lose $16 billion on the GDP. And it's actually shut down before. In 2012, when Superstorm Sandy came rolling through New York City, they completely flooded. Recognizing the critical role of the NEC in connecting the region's economic and cultural hubs, the Hudson Tunnel Project was born. The Hudson Tunnel Project, or HTP for short, encompasses the construction of two new rail tunnels beneath the Hudson River, each measuring 23 feet in diameter, which would double the capacity of the Amtrak and New Jersey Transit trains between New Jersey and Penn Station, New York. The tunnels are to be dug up to 75 feet below the riverbed. The project's scale is staggering, involving the excavation of over 2.5 million cubic yards of rock and sediment, the construction of over 100,000 linear feet of precast concrete tunnel segments, and the installation of over 100 miles of electrical and communication cables. The excavation of the tunnels is nothing short of a technological marvel, spearheaded by two sophisticated tunnel boring machines which were named for their strength and power. Pat and Jenny. These behemoths, each weighing over 3,000 tons, are equipped with cutting edge technology capable of carving a tunnel mile per month. As these machines advance, they also construct tunnel linings using precast concrete segments that interlock like giant Lego blocks, creating a durable and resilient structure. The Hudson River, with its strong currents and varying depths, presents a formidable challenge to engineers. To ensure the stability and integrity of the tunnels, specialized underwater construction techniques are employed. Underwater kai the foundations upon which the tunnels will rest are constructed using steel sheet piles to create a watertight enclosure and then filled with concrete. These kaizens act as anchors, providing a solid base for the tunnel to withstand the force of the river. The close proximity of existing infrastructure, including active shipping lanes, utility lines, and other tunnels, demands meticulous planning and coordination. The project team has developed a comprehensive construction sequence, employing advanced simulation techniques to optimize the construction process and minimize disruptions disruptions to the region's vital transportation and utility networks. Constant monitoring and communication are extremely important, ensuring that all aspects of the project are perfectly synchronized, like an orchestra. But the Hudson Tunnel Project extends far beyond its role as an infrastructure project. It's more notably an investment in the region's economical future. The project will alleviate congestion, reduce travel times by up to 20%, and foster this economic growth. Businesses will benefit from improved connectivity, and tourism will flourish as out of state residents are able to stay in New Jersey and get over to the main island easier. The Hudson Tunnel Project also aligns with the region's sustainability goals. By reducing reliance on carbon intensive modes of transportation, the project is projected to eliminate over 100,000 metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions annually. The use of recycled materials, energy efficient construction techniques, and a comprehensive environmental monitoring plan further demonstrates the project's commitment to sustainability. So, naturally, after hearing all these aspects about the project and how it's going to flow, we ask ourselves, who is going to pay for all this? The Hudson Tunnel Project is really a collaborative effort, and there's no better representation of this than its funding sources. Using stats from last year, we see the Federal Railroad Administration is providing approximately $3.5 billion, the Federal Transit Administration is providing $6.88 billion, while Amtrak and New Jersey Transit are committing $2.8 and $1.8 billion, respectively. And then the remaining billions are going to be funded from private investment and public-private partners. Partnerships. So adding it all up using the current estimate, which is very likely to change by the way, the total project cost is going to be $17.18 billion. And perhaps coming of no surprise, the majority of those costs have to do with construction. The remaining funds will be used for land acquisition, environmental mitigation, and project management. But as I mentioned, the $17.18 billion is probably likely to change considering pretty much every project nowadays runs over budget. So if you're pretty excited for this project, you're actually going to have 
have to halt the brakes a little bit as the project isn't expected to be done until 2035. While we're still pretty far out with almost 12 years until this is expected to be completed, we have to recognize the massive scale at which this project is commencing. The important thing is that the funding is already there for the project, so it is going to happen. In fact, they've already mentioned that digging is to begin in 2025. And chances are, over the next 5 to 10 years, the Hudson Tunnel project is going to become more and more popularized to the point where it's probably going to be a household name. Well, that's going to just about do it for the video. I appreciate you watching. This is definitely a fun one to make. If you were able to learn something, I would appreciate it if you also hit the like and subscribe button. Doing either of those would help me out a bunch, and I will see you next time.